A very warm welcome to tech mining. This stuff is added purposely to present something that would be helpful to you in your future endeavors. However in this video I'll demonstrate a simpler approach to add, modify, and delete orders using just one interface. Execute all the steps performed to create the two master and details pages as we did previously. This time set number of the master page to 404. Set number of the details page to 429. Master detail page created. On this page click orders region. Set source type to SQL query. Source code link is in video description, open part 7 folder to get file used in video. Replace this auto generated query with the source code 1. Make sure validation must be successful. Expand columns node. Make sure order ID column type is set to hidden. For the format mask property, select this value. Transform this order number column into a link column. Set page and clear cache properties to 429 to point to the correct page number. Set the name property to P429 order ID. Click Orders Region. Then Attributes tab. Select this value to exclude the link column. Under Actions menu turn on Save Public Report option to show it at runtime. Set the following attributes for this Create button. Note that previously this buttons was used to initiate the order wizard by calling page 11. Here we are calling page 429 to directly enter a new order. Click this save button to save your work. In this page finder box, enter 429. Then press this go button to call page 429 in the page designer. Click this root node. Set the page mode property to model dialog which comes above a normal page. Set width, height and maximum width properties to 900. 800, and 1200 respectively. Also set dialog template to wizard model dialog. Edit these following items individually and set their corresponding properties. This customer ID item which was displayed as display only item in the previous method, will now be rendered as a select list carrying the names of all customers. This SQL query defined for the select list, automatically shows the correct customer name when you navigate from one order to another.
In this region buttons node, for get previous and next order ID buttons, set position property to edit, to place them on top of the region. Click this order details interactive grid region. Set its source type to SQL query, and replace this default query, with this source code query. Scroll down to server side condition section and choose this select placeholder for this property. This step removes this condition and makes the interactive grid visible every time you access this page. Expand this columns node. Edit these following columns using their specified properties and values. Right click this wizard buttons node. Select create region. Set title of this new region to buttons. Template to buttons container. In regions buttons node. Click this cancel button. Set its region property to buttons. Set this region for delete, save and create buttons too. This action will place all the four buttons under the buttons region. Click this processing tab. Make sure that this process form form on demo orders sits before, this order details save interactive grid data process. Switch this process type from interactive grid automatic row processing to PL SQL code. In this code we specified SQL insert, update and delete statements to manually handle the three operations for the interactive grid data. In this success message box, enter the DML operation performed successfully. Similarly enter could not perform the DML operation in the error message box then save your work. Open page 404. Click this run application button. Click this enter new order button. Select a customer. And pick an order date. Click this edit button in the order details region. With this product appearing in first row along with its default quantity, enter some value in the unit price column, then click this create button. The order will be saved and you will see this success message. On this order master page, click this actions menu, then click columns. From do not display columns move all columns to display in report section. Then align these columns using these buttons. Click order number you just saved. Then click this add row button to add some more products. Just select a product, enter some value in the quantity column.
then click apply changes button. The modified order will be saved as well. From this row actions menu using this delete rows option, try to remove a product from this order. Finally click this delete button on the order details page to test order deletion. In the next video we will perform looping through interactive grid. Thanks for watching.